Hello! I am so glad you can join me today. If you're new to this channel, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. Guys, this is pumpkin season. It's the month of October and this is the month where you find lots of pumpkin. Here in America, they celebrate something called Halloween and you will see people growing lots of pumpkin and decorating the pumpkin, making faces, all kind of stuff. Well, today I'm going to make a pumpkin pie because since we have so much pumpkin, we have to use it up. So for the month of October, I will be making stuff with pumpkin. So if you are a person that usually grow pumpkin, you have plenty of pumpkin, you don't know what to do with them. I'm going to show you in my videos this month what to do with some of your pumpkins. So the first thing that we're going to do today is make the crust for our pie, okay? So I'm going to I'm going to split this video in two because if I do both of them the video is going to be too long and then you're going to get bored and say, oh, it's too long. So I'm going to split it in two. So today I'm going to make the crust. I'm going to show you how easy it is to make your own crust from scratch. And then in the next video, I'm going to make the pumpkin that is going to go into your little pie crust. Okay, so let's get started. So I have my ingredients here on the counter. And to get started, I have two cups of flour. I have one tablespoon of sugar. I have one teaspoon of salt. I have two tablespoons of lemon juice. I have a quarter cup of water. This is cold water out of the refrigerator. And I have some butter. I'm using two cups of butter. So I went ahead and I cut this butter up. So you want your butter to be nice and cold. So I kept my butter in the refrigerator. And um, so it's nice and cold. Actually, I put this butter in the freezer to get it really nice and cold and hard. I left one here to show you how I do it. But before I do that, let me go ahead and put this. So this is what I'm going to do. It's just a dumping stuff. I'm going to put my flour in there. Then to my flour, I'm going to add my one teaspoon of salt. I'm going to add my one tablespoon of sugar. Okay. And I'm going to turn this on for a minute. And guys, we're not making like jam puffs. So we don't have to knead our dough for a long time that like we, we would normally do if we're making jam puffs or, you know, any kind of pastries. We're not going to knead our dough like that. Okay. But I'll show you how to do it. So we turn this on just to mix up the sugar and the salt so that it would go all over. And once that is done, I'm going to turn it off. Very simple. And now move these aside and I have my butter here that I'm gonna add my butter but what I did to my butter is I just sliced the butter like this and you can put your butter in the freezer to get your butter nice and hard and then just cut up your butter okay guys so this is So all together, I have um, two cups of butter. Now we know this looks like a lot of butter, which it is. But when you're making pastry, it's the butter that gives it that nice flaky texture. And that's what we need. So that's what the butter does. So to get started, I'm going to first lift this up and I'm going to empty my butter in here. And I'm going to mix this up for a little bit just to mix it up for a little bit, but not for too long. And we're going to mix this butter up for a little bit. That's good for now. But guys, if you're gonna make this, it is better to me to make it here, cause the butter is a little bit hard in here and it's a little bit harder to work in here. But if you're making it in here, you pulse it and it breaks up the butter better. But um, mine broke. 
I did so I left it on a stove and it kind of melted a little bit and then I don't know but anyway it broke so I have to buy a new base so I'm not gonna be able to use this that's why I'm using this one you can use this too but I think this one is better to work with anyway anyways the next thing we're gonna do is over here I have two tablespoons of lemon juice you can use lime juice you can use vinegar you can it's up to you okay so this is lemon juice and I have a quarter cup of water and I'm gonna add and this is cold water okay it's cold water from the refrigerator so I'm adding my lemon juice to that and I'm just gonna add that straight in there and then I'm gonna beat that up a little bit again just bring it together and that is about it guys and that's a wrap it's all done one two three it's all done so let me show you what we're gonna do next let me put all this stuff aside because we don't need it anymore now now guys I have this mat here this silicone mat that I have here so I'm gonna use this mat to put my dough on now you do not need a mat you can just do it right on your counter if you have a big board you can do it on a board you know it's not it's not a big deal okay so let's not make it a big deal so now let me take this out we're gonna take our dough and put it here and I'm gonna put a little flour down a little flour down to stop it from sticking to my mat and you're gonna just bring it together you're not gonna do much kneading over here you're just gonna bring it together And basically this is it that's it so I'm going to press it down here and here again I'm gonna take my oh I'm gonna be full of uh, flour by the time I'm done <laughs> and I'm going to take and I'm gonna press it down again right here And I am going to press it down and again over here and I'm gonna wipe some of this flour off from here and I'm gonna press it down again right here And right now I'm gonna bring this over and press it down and I'm gonna bring this over again here and press it down Put a little more flour there to so stop it from sticking Press it down. And press it down. That's all you gotta do, guys. That's all you gotta do. See how it looks? Good. So now I'm gonna take my knife, guys, and I'm gonna cut it in half. Cause this is gonna serve me twice. And as you see, all of those little pieces of butter in there that's what makes the flake so that is fine okay I'm gonna take this half right here and I'm going to put it in a little ziplock bag a little zippy bag and close that up because I'm gonna put it in the refrigerator and I don't want it to dry out and get hard so this is gonna keep it nice and moist go in there so you can keep this in the refrigerator overnight. 
you can put it in there for an hour, two hours, is up to you. I am going to leave it in there for about 30 minutes and then I'm going to come back and show you what I'm going to do next. Okay guys, let's get back to business. This is business, this is serious. We are going to finish up this pie crust that we started because I'm showing you how easy before I showed you how if you come home from work and you're kind of like tired and you want something sweet like a you know you can just go buy your own pie crust I mean you can just do that and make your own pies but this is so simple and so easy that if I could do it you can do it so I'm gonna show you so here I have my crust I just took out the refrigerator now I told you I was gonna put it in for 30 minutes but I got busy so it was in there for one hour so one hour two hours is good so I am going to flour my mat here so that the this does not stick to the mat so you're gonna put flour the flour is okay you can put some flour and now I have my crust here and I'm gonna try to get a wrong shape with this so I'm gonna kind of shape it into a, a little ball which I probably should have done before because I want to have a wrong shape that looks wrong to me I'm gonna take a little bit of flour and put on my hands yeah 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 <laughs> and I'm gonna t I know I'm a bit crazy so this I take a little bit of flour I put on my pen so that nothing sticks okay and this is what we're gonna do very simple very easy we're gonna press down and we're gonna push it out we're gonna press down and we're gonna push it out and we're gonna constantly turn this because we don't want it to stick to our mat so we're gonna always turn you're not gonna go back and forth roll back and forth you're gonna go down are you gonna push it out are you gonna come down and push that way okay then we're gonna turn and we're gonna do the same thing again push it out and push it back okay and if you need more flour you could take more flour and put right there to make sure that it does not stick we're not flipping we're not flipping we just staying on the side that we're on okay guys so I'm gonna push it out from the center and then I'm gonna push it back and then I'm gonna push it out and I'm gonna push it back and I'm gonna push it this way and we're gonna go that way and we're gonna come this way and we're gonna come that way because we're making a circle okay okay so we're just gonna go like that we're gonna come back we're gonna come back and we're gonna go okay we're gonna keep you see our pie crust is doing good it's not um, breaking up like you know it'll break up so so now I'm gonna get my dish now once we've rolled this out like this for a little bit okay now you're gonna take your your pie dish and you're gonna go over it like that to see if um, you have a good size so because you just need to be like maybe about two inches over and this is depends on how deep your dish is okay so I think that's about good so what I am going to do is I'm gonna take my dough and put it over like that oh <laughs> wrong side <laughs> and dust the, the excess flour off of that I should buy a pastry brush and just dust the flour off of it all that extra flour that I put on there okay and then take your your dish right here and kind of center it voila voila okay and this is it so now you do not push it down in the center okay do not push in the center you're gonna just at the sides just gently push it down at the sides but 
we don't want it springing back on us so we're gonna just gently push it down in this at the sides yep 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 looking good looking good now once we push it down at this sides just gently pushing it down we're not putting no pressure on it just to make sure it's at the sides over here I'm gonna take my so once I've done that I'm gonna take my handy dandy scissors and I'm just gonna go around and I'm gonna clip around to make it nice see that And you just go around and cut as you go around you cut it up once I finish cutting around my edges the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fold in my edges like this okay just give it a quick little fold Fold it in on itself. And you're going to go all the way around and fold it in. Then you're going to take your little thumb right here in these two fingers and you're going to push like that, okay, to crimp it like that. You can push it down like that and you can just go all the way around and just keep going all the way around like that push it out and just pinch it until you come to the end and that's it guys so now what I'm gonna do with my pie crust is I'm gonna put it in the freezer for about 15 minutes and let it just sit there get a little rest and then we're gonna come back and I'm gonna have to put it in the oven and cook it for a little bit because before you put your pie in your pumpkin you're gonna have to cook this okay so I'll show you how I do that when I come back so I'll put I'll be back in 20 minutes after I put this in the freezer so it's right here so now my pie a crust is out of the I put it in the freezer for 20 minutes I just took it out so now the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cook this pie dough okay we have to cook it before and this is depends on what you're doing okay making pumpkin pie or something you don't have to cook it but we no no I'm sorry cross that out you're making your apple pie you don't have to cook it first we're making a pumpkin pie so we're gonna cook the dough first okay so I have here a piece of parchment paper so this is what I'm gonna do with it I'm gonna ball it up in my hand like this and then I'm gonna open it up because I'm gonna cook it but in order for me to do that I'm gonna put some beans in here to kind of weight it down because you don't want that if you just put it in like that and maybe just put your your pie in there what happened is it may collapse and you don't want that to happen mess up everything you can't afford to have that happen after all this hard work that you put in here right so I'm gonna put this in here and I crumple it up like that so that hopefully it can get it over to the um, the edges. So I have some beans in here. This is guys looking in, in your pantry. See so if you have any leftover beans or rice or whatever that you're not going to use. And just go ahead and use this to weight it down. You know, I kind of mix a mixture of peas and some split peas in here. There's some beans I found in the, in the refrigerator that have been sitting in there forever. They haven't used. So go ahead and, and take it up and use it. It has some oil rice. You can use it. And that's it. 
So now what I'm going to do is I am going to put this inside of the oven. My oven is set right now at 350. I'm going to put this in the oven and I'm going to leave it in there for about 30 minutes. And when 30 minutes is up, I'm going to take it out. I'm going to come back and show you what it looks like. Okay, guys. Okay, guys. So this is out of the oven. I left it in there for 30 minutes. And I put it to cool for just a couple minutes. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my weights out of here. And um, just rest these over here for a few minutes. And I'm going to put this back in the oven for, for five minutes so that the bottom can continue to cook because the bottom is soft. The bottom needs to be cooked some more and um, just the wrong here is cooked. So I'm going to put it back in for five minutes. Okay, guys, so this is how you make our pie crust, okay? I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect, but at least you get the general idea of how to make a pie crust, how to make your own pie crust. And when you make your own, as we know, it always tastes better, okay? So now I'm going to close this video off. I'm so glad you guys were able to join me. I will be making an, a follow-up video where I would make the pumpkin puree that I'm going to add in here. So let me say thank you so much for joining me. I hope you go out and make yourself at least just try just try to do it it may not be perfect as i said but the point is that you try to do it okay so try to make yourself a pie crust and see it's gonna taste so much better because you made it so it's gonna taste so much better okay and um stay tuned for pumpkin pie coming up see you in the next video